Psychological Explanations for Schizophrenia The Cognitive Explanation Cognitive explanations of mental disorders propose that abnormalities in cognitive function are a key component of schizophrenia. Cognitive approaches examine how people think, how they process information. Researchers have focused on two factors. First, cognitive deficits. These are impairments in thought processes such as perception, memory and attention. Second, cognitive biases. This refers to when people notice, pay attention to, or remember certain types of information better than others. All of this can lead to a person coming to false conclusions about the things happening in the world around them. Delusions Delusions are explained by cognitive biases, in other words, they are caused by inadequate information processing. Patients with schizophrenia are often unable to recognize these cognitive distortions, i.e. when their processing of events is incorrect. Here are some examples. People tend to perceive themselves as the central component in events so jump to conclusions about external events. This is known as egocentric bias. For example, thinking that the people presenting the news or radio are trying to send secret messages to them. Therefore, they relate irrelevant information to themselves and arrive at false conclusions. E.g. The people on the news are sending a secret message to me, which means the government knows about me and is out to get me. Patients have an inability to reality test, to objectively evaluate an emotion or thought against real life, and they may be unwilling or unable to consider that their interpretation of events could be wrong. Hallucinations Hallucinations come from cognitive deficits. There is evidence that people diagnosed as schizophrenic have difficulties in processing various types of information, for example visual and auditory information. Hallucination-prone individuals find it difficult to distinguish between imagery and sensory-based perception. They focus excessive attention on auditory stimuli and so have a higher expectancy for the occurrence of a voice than normal individuals. They are more likely to misattribute the source of a self-generated auditory experience to an external source. I.e. They do not recognize that the voices are being generated from their own mind and are a part of them, and mistakenly believe they are coming from elsewhere. These errors are often not corrected by disconfirming evidence because patients with schizophrenia do not go through the same process of reality testing as a healthy person would.